So I woke up this morning around 6 a.m. and uh, had to go to the bathroom. And then I got back in bed and I could not fall back asleep. Uh, in particular, I just couldn't get comfortable. I've been trying to be very conscientious of how I sleep uh, because I've I continue to have uh, issues with my my ulnar nerve, um, kind of on and off, and uh, you know the best one of the best ways to try and help that is to be very mindful of of how I'm sleeping. However, as I was being mindful of how I was sleeping and tossing and turning, but doing so with the mentality of I need to be careful with this, I just I couldn't get comfortable. I just could not get comfortable. I was a little hungry too, and I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get back to sleep. But around that time, um, Mao had been, you know, shifting in her sleep a little bit, and I was thinking, I think she might be awake. So I flipped over, and Mao was on her phone. So I was like, Hey, do you want to just get up? And she was like, Maybe, maybe in a few minutes. So we sat there until uh, six thirty. And uh, Kep's little automated feeder goes off at 6.30. And as soon as it went off, Matt was like, you want to go for a walk? And I was like, that sounds lovely. Because we can't do that in the day now. Because and it's only 70 out right now. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's only 70 degrees. And uh, the humidity is 95%. Well, that's just the way it is. So 70 degrees, 95% humidity, but if we're going to go for a walk, we should do it now in the day, uh, early, early day, because it's going to get warm. But that sounds like a really good way to start the day. So yeah, let's go for a uh, early morning walk. Now it's a beautiful day. It's muggy. It's muggy? I feel like wet. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but that's just part of the charm of living in South Carolina. That's just the way it is all the time. That's the thing. You can't get away from that. No, you can't. It is nice to get up this early and walk. We normally get up each day sometime between 8.30 and 9. That's what we usually aim for. But I would not mind getting up at 6.30 every day. It would require some changes. Capital C. But Maybe not walks as it gets hotter. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not necessarily for walking. Just like the idea of getting up that early. I love that man, I really do. I was in the mood for a, uh, I think it was a pretty substantial breakfast, so I made myself some uh, some egg burritos, got some sauce on there. Uh, Mal just wanted a yogurt. Just having yogurt. Just wanted a yogurt, and I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, and I was like, okay. Oh, and the other thing, I haven't had one of these in a while, um, a Stroopwafel. Folks send in Stroopwafels from time to time, and then actually, um, when we were at my parents' house yesterday, my mom was like, have you tried these things? And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, we've, we've had them before. So she actually sent a handful home with us as well. So I've got, um, I got a nice big breakfast. I'm, I'm hoping that this will give me a, a good bit of energy to, to start the day off right. We've had a really good day. Yeah. I mean, we, we got up early, um, you know, we kind of got a, a really nice start. We did get a little tired and took a tiny nap in the afternoon, but otherwise, it's been a good day. It's been really productive. Um, it's, it's finally time for dinner, and uh, we're doing something we haven't done in a while, and it's a shame because it's delicious, and it's pickled chicken. Uh, Mao has been brining the... Uh, the chicken in pickle juice for a few hours. And I just love the flavor of this. It's really, really good. Now I was going to roast it all, but it wouldn't all fit. So we're gonna roast this and this is what we'll eat uh, later in the week. And then this is what we'll have for dinner tonight. We're gonna have a side with it. Yeah, I thought we'd have broccoli. Broccoli? Yeah, that's a good That's a good plan. Oh, and Mal also made a uh, loaf of bread because the way we've been doing it now is you know folks have been sending in so many well you can actually see them there folks have been sending in so many boxes of uh of bread for the bread maker that it makes a little more sense to just 
make the bread instead of going out and buying the bread. And that's fine by us because it's it's better. It tastes better. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little more hassle because you have to make it, but not much because the bread maker does most of the work. So we made a loaf of bread so we can have some food for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, Mal, I uh, I didn't tell you a funny thing that happened. So I went to the I went to the bathroom earlier, mm -hmm. and uh, because the AC unit is in the bathroom now, it makes all that loud noise. Yeah. And. Uh, because of that, I can't hear when Kepler comes in. So when I went to the bathroom, he was on the chair, yeah. like next to the next to the the desk. So I thought he was still there. He was sleeping. Mm -hmm. So I go to the bathroom, and uh, all of a sudden, he had walked in, and I didn't know, and he sneezed, <laughs> and it scared the crap out of me. I was going to the bathroom, and all of a sudden, behind me, I heard, Achoo! and I was like, ah. Anyway, just wanted to share. The chicken came out really good looking. Yeah. But how does it taste? Is it good? Grab a small bite of that. Okay. It's exceptional. I think this is my favorite way to eat chicken. Mm hmm I mean, really. Take chicken thighs and um, do them in the cast iron. It's a food wishes recipe. Food wishes? Mm -hmm. Food wishes recipe. Anyway, brined and pickles, oh my god. It's just, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be for everyone, because like, if you're, if you're like, does it taste like pickles? The answer is yes, of course it does. But I like pickles a lot, so I find it delicious. How is it, bud? Is it good? Is it good? This is, uh, this is kind of notable, um, because... For the past, since we, since we started him on that wet food, and then he ate the wet food, and then suddenly was like, I don't know if I like this anymore, and we had to mix in his old food to get him to eat it. Anyway, since then to today, we have been mixing in that old food, but we're just about out of that old food. We have another can or two left. And I was like, I'm going to start having a few meals where I don't give it to him. So today I haven't. So for all of his wet food today, he hasn't had the old food mixed in and he's eating it. And I suspect, I mean, for one, he's been eating, you know, wet food, so he probably can't tell that much. But then also he has dry food again. You know, back when he uh, was only eating the wet food, we had to mix it in because he got tired of it. But now that he's only getting half wet, half dry again, I think he'll be good. Yeah. It also means that we won't have to buy two types of food and mix them together. Every mealtime since, you know, Kep's been sick has been, you know, a bit of a, an ordeal because I've had to mix two different foods together. But all day, he just had the one food and he's doing fine. So I think he'll be, I think he'll be good. And again, we didn't buy a second food. It's just that we had leftover cans. And since we can't give them, uh, give those cans to him just on their own anymore because they're bad for him, we've been trying to at least kind of put them to use, and uh, it's worked. Anyway, I'm tired. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?